For today's goodies, fast we leave 500 at Monsville Speedway. It's a sunny day out here. Kevin Hobart has the fastest time. So you will start on the ball. It's a puppy and feed. You need to try to win the championship. Back is up. So you can go with Darren Sam a month ago. Jeffrey and Magma 05. Mighty Matt alongside Roundy. NASCAR fan 88. He's going to try to get a win at Monsville alongside Ryan Newman. And finally, a new face is Kyle Hampton Jr. So as the drivers roll off, we got some, we got a couple of retro paint schemes here at Monsville. We had a lot of them at Darlington at in October a month ago. Um, so we got Austin Dillon in the number three Good Ranch car in in a beautiful silver car that Dale Earnhardt Sr. raced in the All Star race twenty years ago in nineteen ninety five, and we have Chase Elliott in the number nine Mellow. All your pumps, Carla. Take honoring his father, Bill Elliott. Awesome Bill. Who won um a million dollar who won million dollars which uh, the nickname Million Dollar Bill ever since. He won at Darlington in nineteen eighty five, thirty years ago. Jeffrey is still working hard on trying to get his first Diecast Cup win for the NASCAR Good Ranch Cup Series. And next season for the full 36 race season um, for the NASCAR KimberlyWorld.com Series featuring Kevin World truck drivers driving Winston Cup cars and the NASCAR Xfinity Series which will be the sponsorship for the Tax Slayer Series driven by a couple of Xfinity, driv driven by Xfinity drivers driving Xfinity Cup cars. Xfinity cars and next L Cup cars and also something new and a NASCAR Menards a NASCAR Menards Pro Series will, will be coming up next next season as well, which will be sponsorship for the NASCAR and ARCA 
whatever that stands for. Arca Menards Sit Pro Series. That will be a new driven by um Car of Tomorrow and Mexico Cup Spring Cup cars and Car of Tomorrow's and everything like that. And Xfinity Series will be driven by Spring Cup cars, old Spring Cup cars, the Generation 5, and yeah. Um, the the new Arca series will be next year will be a new diecast season as well, driven by Winston Cup. All my old diecast cars I have, and of course, my fans' favorite, the NASCAR Goodwrench Cup series, will be a will which will be. The NASCAR Goodwrench Cup Series. However, when we get to the full 36 race season next year, Goodwrench will not be a sponsorship. So, with D Dale Earnhardt Jr. now driving nationwide, it, it will be a spot. The NASCAR Nationwide Cup Series will now be a sponsorship for next year. And in, in December, this year or in January next year. The season will start next year or late this year in December. Repeat. Um, a full race se next season will start December or January. Earnhardt Jr. is starting third today. So he'll uh, own on Jr. will be starting fourth today. So he'll try to get his second win. So he'll try to get his third diecast racing season career. He'll try to get his third diecast season career win here at Monsville. He got his first at Dover um a season ago. When he took the checker flag on the green white checker finish, or on two laps to go, he took off, starting in front, and took the checker flag at Dover. Did the same thing in Atlanta this this season in race number four, and took the checker flag. But can he get the job done in Monsville? Let's hope his stick. Let, let's hope his shifter won't be broken. <laughs> oh, and as for Jimmy Johnson, he is a non-chaser, but he was a chaser last, last season and took a win at Sonoma, which will be the next race after Monsville for race 9. Sonoma will be race 9 after this, after the goodies fast will be 500. Harvick trying to get his third win of the season, trying to clinch the championship. He really wants it so bad. It's in his blood. Well, can he get the job done? He has smoke on his side, trying to help him out. He The Daytona 500 and the Alabama 500 winner. Also, I put another, another weekend of racing is... In the 51 Miller yellow car, um, Kyle Lawson drove this sponsor, drove this card back at Darlington. But it was supposed to be King Mr. Kyle Bush's one ride. So, he'll ride it today at Marnsville, try to get a, and will try to get a win. And with Kyle Bush helping him out. And earlier, they had a Nice long chat before the race, before trackside. How they're going to make their way up to the front. This race is brought to you by Sonic. Also, you can try the all new crispy chicken sandwich that's in store. Sonic, this is how you Sonic. And as the cars roll off, two more laps before the green flag, the goodies fast relief 500 at Monsville will return after. Sonic's message.
This ultimate chicken sandwich is so great. I mean, this is the chicken sandwich that all other chicken sandwiches are going to be judged against. Well, I'll actually be the judge of that, Peter. Okay, so what are you, some sort of chicken judge? I find this ultimate chicken sandwich on Brioche Bun to be guilty of being delicious. Great. TJ, this is ridiculous. You're out of order. I'm out of tots. Order me a drink. Taste this must. All rise for the honorable new ultimate chicken sandwich. And don't forget our ice cream cake, shakes, and cones. This is how you sonic. Welcome back to the Goodies Faster Elite 500 at Monsville Speedway. The cars are coming off of turn 4. Get ready to get the green flag. A new season of NASCAR parodies. That's coming soon. But, uh, well, here we are at Monsville. Let's enjoy the race. Sit back. And enjoy the race. Jim McMillan coming all the way from down. 10 lap race. We're underway. McMurray takes the lead, leads him down to lap two. Junior on the inside, trying to take the lead. Three out for the lead. Here comes Austin Dillon, looking for the lead. He's not going to go down without a fight. That's exactly what Kurt Busch is doing. He is ex in the top five, looking for the lead. He's shoving. Oh, Junior in the wall. Didn't see that. But, whoa, Johnson, I guess that was revenge from, to, from his teammate. As he'll go in the wall. Hard. So, Mr. Kyle Busch 1 and Jimmy Johnson, they took a heavy hit in the wall. As they have heavy damage on the hood, Denny Hammond, as well as heavy damage on the hood, from he got spun up by Mr. Kyle Busch 1, spins and hits the wall. And, oh god, looks like uh, Kyle Hampton Jr., the 61, he looks like he was involved. Dale Hart Jr., he, he hits the wall. But has a little bit of damage, but man, that's not going to hurt him. And Kevin Harvick, he has damage, but um, he just told his crew chief that he'll keep going to try to win the race, to get revenge on the Magic Boys. However, I've got a question. Is Harvick's usual, usual mood ticked off, or the way he's driving usually gets him ticked? I would say driving. Season 1 through Season 2, opening of the NASCAR Diecast Racing season, things did not go well for Harvick and Richard Childress Racing in the 29, DNFing over 10 times in the process. And Junior shared the exact same fate. Junior and Harvick, back when they were racing Generation 5 cars, Season 1 through Season 2, both of them constantly fall in the back of the pack. Season 2 in the Daytona 500, the NASCAR Goodwrench Cup Series, was, was very close. Harvick came down to yet another close finish, battling, out, battling Kurt Busch for the win, and beat him... Two one thousandths of a second. Harvick celebrated what it was so long in coming. He got in the grass, spun a couple of donuts. For round four, Junior was back in victory lane and got grabbed his first diecast series season win at Dover. And Harvick spun Bush for Coming across the line for a position while Junior finishes first. And Junior celebrated the, celebrated the time that was so long in coming, just like Harvick. Sm smoked the tires and drove into victory lane. 